Hey guys, what is going on? Blossom is back, and sorry I haven't been posting every day recently. Um, one reason, I've been pretty lazy. Uh, still on my summer vacation, but it's I'm in my final days of my summer vacation now. Uh, I'll be going back to New York City soon for college, and then the consistent upload schedule will be back. But today, I want to post a video on basically how I've achieved every prize car I've had in my garage. Now, I have to say, I've been honestly lucky. Uh with the amount of prize cards I have, when you compare the amount of prize cards to maybe some of my friends or maybe even some other YouTubers out there, um, I do have quite a bit. Um, now, don't compare it to like, I don't know, sharks that have like the P1 GTR, like everything, right? Um, but I think I'm pretty lucky. Um, but I've also worked really, really hard. So we can all agree that getting a prize car in top drives is one of the most satisfactory feelings um, any Top Drives player can go through. And I don't mean the Austins or the Smart 4-2s. I, I mean the big boys, like the Project 1 and the 918. Um, it's a great feeling. And if, if you guys haven't won a prize car yet, I wish you the best of luck. Um, if you want me to make a video on maybe the best tips to get a prize car, then let me know in the comments below. And I could probably... Uh, come up with maybe five or six points that might really help you. Uh, but that said, I want to talk about basically all the prize cards I have in my garage, how I got them, and you know, this is basically a episode on stories. I, I think it's quite fun because I have some pretty fun stories. Like for my nine one eight, I want it on a plane. Um, but yeah, we'll start off with the Austins, uh, and then we'll get to the more special cars later. The Austins are basically well, you guys already know. Um, it's just part of uh, a bigger event in top drives it's basically meant to reward players that have played the game for a long time um so you can get an austin or you can win an austin every two months and it started like i think last year in october and it's going all the way to this year in october i think it's something like that um but yeah uh, basically the winner if you get through all the events um you win the moby dick um a lot of people are telling me that I'm going to regret maxing all my Austins out. Um, maybe I will regret, uh, but we'll see. I, I feel like if Hutch, if Hutch wanted you to max those Austins out only when you see the events, like I, I get the point, but I feel like that would be really, really harsh. Uh, the main reason why I may max my Austins out is basically just OCD. Um, I like either having my cars at three stars or no stars. I don't like cars like in between like one stars or two stars. Um, I would give exceptions for epics and legendaries, but honestly, especially at my level at 23,000 uh, 23, trophies, it, it, your car has to be three stars, at, at least ultra and below. So for me, it's either one star or three star. I don't like having cars just waiting to be finished. Um, next are the Smart 4-2s. They were part of a pro circuit event a long time ago. Um, nothing too special. Uh, same with the Firebird, also part of a pro circuit event. I I totally forgot what was the car, the top prize. It was a Porsche, but I forgot which Porsche it was. Um, however, these Firebirds are a little bit more special than the uh, Smart for Twos because these Firebirds are actually useful. Um, I love them. Uh, they have great MRA. They're great at drags. They beat the Corvette three ninety six. I don't know if they beat the Plymouth GTX because in my last video on cars. Uh, I would say people should rec um, invest in. I didn't mention the GTX, but a lot of people in the comments were like, oh, you didn't mention the GTX is a great car. And then one of a great subscriber, uh, Ben, he actually told me that the GTX beats the Corvette 396. So I have to go check that out, really, because if you guys know, a couple months ago on my channel, I posted a video where I compared drag times with the 396. Um, what else? The Firebird? Right, because that was basically a Firebird video, um, as well as the Plymouth Superbird and the El Camino. And basically, I didn't have the GTX in there. I, I didn't know how good it was, so we'll have to go test that out. But yeah, uh, Trans Am uh, was part of Pro Circuit. Uh, next was the Rovers. Rovers are also Pro Circuit. It was in the same bracket when I won the Smarts, and that was for a Corvette. Um, and then last two cars here, we have the Ram Rebel. That was part of the Porsche Pro Circuit, and then the Plymouth Superbird, which was part of the Corvette Pro Circuit. Uh, I'm a huge fan of actually these two cars. The Superbird, I'm a huge fan of. If you guys don't know, this car isn't the greatest for drags. You might think it is, but it loses to the Corvette ZR2. However, this car is a beast on test bowl. I think it is the best super rare uh, on the test bowl, and it beats a lot of ultra rares too. So if you guys have it, 
probably 996 it or 332 that's what i did so here are the stats 3.90 to 60 and a top speed of 195 i mean guys if you know me this was the car i wanted the most this year after i got the demon so i'm so happy i have it and i still am uh next was the rebel rebel was definitely a car that i was pleased to get uh, I was happy at how easy it was to get as well through a pro circuit event because if you guys don't know I think a long time ago in top drives when the Buick GNX came out it was actually part of like I think it was part of a Mercedes event but it was like a Mercedes side event so you had like two finals going on at the same time and one was like a legendary and the other was the Buick GNX it, it was hard it was actually hard um, I can't remember much about that event but I'm pretty sure the requirements were like Lancia or something stupid like that uh but yeah that was that so i was happy that the ram 1500 was a lot easier to achieve now last but not least are my big boys um i have won six um tier one final prize cars if that makes sense uh the lancer evo the 918 project 8 uh the demon m3 gts as well as the gt1 road car um so I'm going to tell you a little bit of, you know, stories. I'll, I'll tell you stories on how I won them, um, what I did, how much money I spent, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So starting off, we'll have the M3 GTS. Uh, this was probably one of the cars I didn't put a lot of effort in, but I ended up winning. Um, I think this was also, I think it was top eight. Uh, and the prize was the M3 GTS as well as a five times carbon fiber. To be honest... I wanted the five times carbon fiber more than I wanted the M3 GTS, which some people would probably understand that. Um, I've won this 544 days ago, and I still remember what I got uh, from that five times carbon fiber that I won with the M3 GTS. I actually got the Raptor, which I love, and a Boxster, a Porsche Boxster, the epic RQ25 one. Uh, great pack that was, and it's still on my channel. Um, probably like way down below in the history books uh one of my first ever videos was the rewards from this event um i remember winning this car i was actually in front of my friend's house um back when i was in high school this was like early 2018 pretty sure it was like january um i was in front of my friend's house and we were about to study for a japanese test and if you guys don't know i used to study japanese I used to be able to speak Japanese fluently. Um, I still can speak Japanese, but it's been a while. It's been like a year since I've spoken Japanese. So um, I don't know if you guys are Japanese and you watch my videos, comment in Japanese and I'll answer in Japanese. Uh, but that'd be cool. Um, what is next? Oh, and also if I load my hand. Here you go. M3 GTS. I, sh I actually recalled all the uh, decks that I had that basically won me the car. So this was the deck that helped me won the BMW M3 GTS right here, had a maxed out 335D. This car was rear wheel drive and ultra rare at the time. Uh, maxed out M Coupe, my favorite, the clown shoe. CMG hates it though. Um, maxed out M5, medium ground clearance, love this car. Um, maxed out Z8 and finally, a, it wasn't maxed out, but it was like maybe one two star 740D. Um, if I remember correctly, the M3 GTS was a rainy event. There was a lot of rainy events, and there were a couple... I I would assume that there were a couple city streets, because I have three... Well, three out of the five cars in my deck are medium right height. So I would assume that there was a couple city streets. It was a long time ago, but that was that. Uh, moving on is the Porsche 911 GT1 road car. Now, I can't recall what my deck was when i won this bad boy and that is because i forgot what the requirements were it was funny because for the porsche 911 gt1 road car i think i won this the week before the m3 gts or the week after we can actually compare that um own for 544 so this one should be like 53 maybe 553 yeah so this was shortly after winning the m3 gts um i don't remember what my deck was but i remember i was actually at a shopping mall when I won this, I was playing it nonstop uh, with my friends. Um, we were at a shopping mall. I was playing it, playing it, playing it. I was playing it on the car, in the car on the way to the shopping mall in Bellevue, Washington, Bellevue Square, if anyone knows where that is, um, a couple miles away from Seattle. Um, and I think one of my friends, he was getting frozen yogurt, frozen yogurt, and the other one was getting jamba juice. And they were like, yo, Louie, do you want to go get some food with us? I was like, nah, 
I'm gonna play top drives. So I played top drives. Uh, I remember the final moments was you know during that moment when they were getting food and I won this car in the mall. I think I screamed a little bit, but I can't remember. Love this car though. Just totally forgot um, what my deck was when I won this. It's a '90s car, uh, which is great. Moving on is the Project Eight. To be completely honest with you guys, I still don't know how I have this car. Um, and you will see why with the uh, deck that I had. I won this car 82 days ago. Wow, it, it feels a lot longer than that. But I've won this car 82 days ago. So less than three months ago. Um, this was, I think, when I was almost done with college. Um, my first year of college. Um, and I think I was just playing the finals in my dorm. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is when I joined the event. Well, for this event, I joined it the moment it came out. And obviously, this was a long time ago when Top Drives was still really niche. So the competition was a lot easier. Um, this one, I think, probably, when it comes to events that were like a long, long time ago, especially a year and a half, um, usually I just join when the event starts. Uh, Learn that the hard way, though, uh, when it came to future events because it got destroyed. Uh, but this one I joined, I think, in the final four hours. Um, as you know, I'm not a fan of late joining. Uh, but I joined this one in the final four hours, which I don't think is a late, late join. Definitely one of my latest joins. And the reason for that was because this was my deck. Where is it? Project 1. There it is. In fact, this wasn't my deck. This uh, 911 GT3 wasn't there. It was actually a Renault Magan, which um, after the event ended, I fused because it was French. Um, but yeah, this was my deck. I had Caterham 7420. Uh, maxed out Subaru Impreza, maxed out Lancia Delta Integrale, and a maxed out 7360. I I don't know how I won the Project 8. I, I really don't. I mean, honestly, my competition was really easy. And it was funny because a lot of the people that were racing with me were actually names that I know. Um, they're names that I see it all the time. So I guess all of us just didn't have a lot of good driver's choice cars um, another reason for that is because this was the second time the project 8 came out so that might be a reason so all the uh maybe super rich boys the sharks won it already so they couldn't compete um but yeah i, I still don't know how i have the project 8 honestly uh, moving on is the mitsubishi lancer evo 8 uh, this car was actually really really fun to get i joined this event in the final 12 hours uh, but I only really competed it, competed in it in the final one hour. Um, I remember I joined it, I think, yeah, I joined it 12 hours before it ended. So I joined it at night. I went to bed, woke up, I went to my job. Um, I was in college at the time, but I had, a, I had work. And then I got off work at 4 p.m. And between that one hour, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I was playing top drives nonstop trying to get this. Um, I remember I was actually in my friend's dorm. Um, she was doing homework. Um, she actually wanted to hang out with me. But since I was playing top drives nonstop for that one hour, she ended up doing homework. And then I remember when I actually won this car, I screamed so loud she got scared. Sorry, Brittany. Uh, but yeah, um, let's see. Here's the deck. So... Um, it was a Mercedes final, and I've got this Mitsubishi Lancer 152 days ago. I think this was in, like, February. 838 races, 93% win ratio. Guys, I'm just saying, this car is amazing. Um, this was the deck I had. I think there were a couple of rainy, um, a couple of rainy tracks, but I, if I remember correctly, there was a lot of drags, uh, which was perfect because I had the S55. Great car. Have it maxed out at 996. Love this car to death. Um, also at the AMG SL73, which helped me a lot. And I think I used this C350 because of the racy, uh, not the race, what, the rainy circuits. Um, and then finally I had the AMG C63 because I knew that there was a medium circuit, uh, medium city street circuit. So this AMG C63 is medium ground clearance. And then finally my AMG GTS. The competition was pretty tough. Um, I mean, it's as tough as you would expect um i ended up i think eighth maybe seventh maybe eighth I, I know i was like really really close um but i was happy to win it 
and I'm happy to own the Lancer Evo 8. It's a beautiful car. It's so good. Moving on now are my two favorite stories, 918 and the Demon. Uh, we'll start off with the 918 because Demon's probably the best story, uh, but the 918 is a great one. So this was a Porsche final, and I won this, I think, maybe a year ago, almost exactly a year. Um, 401 days, so maybe like the third. 13 months ago um i won this car on a plane um yeah um so basically how i won this car was well i was comp I, I joined this one pretty early actually i joined this uh 48 hours before it ended so two days a whole two days and to put that in co into comparison um 48 hours is well i would have joined the 8c finals by now which i haven't uh, i plan to join tomorrow um but let's me show you my 918 deck my 918 deck was insane. Um, this was a tough competition. I would say 918 was probably my toughest competition. Because, well, first of all, it was a 918. It was the first time it came out. It wasn't the second time with all the stupid French cars that were required. Um, it was the first time it came out. So it was a Porsche required event. And I was racing with some really, really big names. Um, I can't remember on the top of my head... <clears throat> Who I really raced with. I knew I raced with Bugatti. Bugatti top drives. He was... I don't know where he is now. But he is a top drives legend. Uh, he had an amazing deck. And I also... I think... What's his name? Zot? Was it Zot? Z-O-T? Um, I just remembered him through his Werther Bremen uh, profile picture. Uh, and if you guys don't know, I, I follow the Bundesliga a lot. Um, so I do know a lot of German football teams and if you guys are wondering which team i support i support bayern munich so uh francis i'm sorry i know you're a dortmund fan um but this is my porsche deck which helped me win the 918 i had a maxed out 911 carrera s and remember i told you guys about how i won the 9 911 gt1 in a shopping mall in bellevue well i unpacked this car in the same shopping mall in bellevue um and i maxed it out um I think within a day, uh, maxed out within a day, um, and then at the same time, I unpacked the 911 Turbo while the 918 event was going on. I, I got really, really lucky. Um, got it from a Porsche carbon fiber pack, and uh, yeah, as you can see, I've had this for 402 days, and the 918 I've had for 401. <laughs> yeah, it's a one-day difference. Um, other cars I had was the Panamera, which was actually my weak link, um, which is saying a lot. Um, my 911 Turbo, which I got from a ceramic pack, the only legendary I've ever gotten from a ceramic pack, and finally my 911 GT2 RS. I love this car so much. Um, I got really, really lucky with this event. Well, I, yeah, I did, because I got the 911 Turbo from a pack, as well as the Carrera S from the pack. If it wasn't for those two, I wouldn't have had a chance, even with three legendaries already. Um, it was really tough, and then, yeah, I spent the most of my time competing for this finals in, well, in Seattle, um, but then on the final day, when the event was ending, I was actually on the plane from Seattle to California, uh, to meet up with some of my friends at Disneyland, which is what I'm actually going to do in a couple of days, um, but yeah, I remember I bought Wi-Fi on the plane I was on, it was Alaska Airlines, and, um, yeah, played this thing nonstop. Those last 30 minutes of this event, I was sweating. Pretty sure the guy sitting next to me on the plane was like, what the hell is wrong with him? Um, but I remember winning this, uh, recording this, and yeah, 918 Spider is the car I won on the plane. Uh, I did tell you guys how, I did tell you guys that I would tell you guys how much money I spent on each one. Honestly, I can't remember. Um, I think the Project 8 was like $40. Um, no, not even $40, like 30 because I opened two driver choice packs. Um, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, I spent nothing. I, I, I actually spent nothing because all the Mercedeses that I had, I've had them for a while. Can't remember because I don't even know what cars were needed for that. And the BMW th M3, I, I think I spent nothing as well. Oh, actually, no, I did. I probably opened, like, those, like, BMW ceramic packs. Uh, if you're an OG Top Drives player, you know what I'm talking about. They had, like, special deal deals where you get, like, two super rares in a pack, something like that. Um, 918, though, uh, hands down, has been the most money I've spent in a final. Um, I have spent, I think, $150 in the 918 finals. Um, but honestly, worth it. Anyway now to the dodge challenger srt demon so 
you might be surprised that I spent more money on the 918 than I did on the Demon. On the Demon, I think I spent $120. Um, I think I ended up opening 10. 10, I think. Yeah, 10 carbon fibers. Uh, most of them was American Dream. And then I think I opened like one Chevrolet carbon fiber. Um, basically, my deck for this one, and you guys already know, um, is this. Um, I had my maxed out SRT Hellcat. I had a maxed out Camaro ZL1. At the time of winning the Demon, I had a two-star Camaro ZL1 convertible. Um, glory. Glory to the Tahoe Custom. I love this car. And finally, the Camaro SS Coupe. Um, Demon, nothing special. I didn't win it in a plane. I won it in my dorm. Uh, I remember I took the whole day off. It was a Sunday um, and from like 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., I was just staring at my phone. I had a charger. I had a backup charger. Um, I told my friends, do not come in my room. Do not ask if I want to eat dinner. I'm going to play this, and I'm going to win that demon. Um, what else? Uh, what else am I missing? Uh, let's see. I got this car 180 days ago. Win ratio of 97. Um, what else? Oof, am I missing anything else? I mean, that's my deck. That's my car. Told you the conditions. Oh, I joined it in the final 24 hours. Um, and in fact, if you want to see my whole journey of winning the demon, um, it's actually on my channel. Yeah, it's on my channel. Everything about it. I had the prelims and the qualifiers. Everything about the demon was on the channel all the way up to winning it. Um, it was a great day. It was an amazing day. I recorded right after... I think it's my only copyrighted or copyright flagged video on my channel because I played the Hallelujah theme song, which honestly, I don't know why it's copyrighted. Isn't that song like a million years old? Like, I don't know, uh, but it was a great car and I do love my SRT Demon and it is my favorite car in my garage. Um, second is the Superbird, third is the 918. They're all prize cars. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically it. That's how I won all my prize cars, and those were the stories. And I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different video. Um, it really brings a lot of nostalgia back to, um, yeah, to just all of this. I mean, when you think about it, I won one in the mall, won one in my friend's dorm, uh, won two in my own dorm, won one in front of my friend's house, and I won one on a plane. Uh, so I think that's really cool. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, special video, and I'll see you all next time. Blossom out.